I need to film this quickly because I think I'm going to melt. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to Jamie. Um, Jamie and Amy have given me their wheelbarrow. I just want to say a massive thank you. I really appreciate it. And um, I feel a bit smug now that I'm going to go down there with like my own wheelbarrow. It's very exciting. I'm going to plant some things today. I've got some things I've been growing in the house, so I'll show you what I've been getting up to. day it is stunning outside it's boiling i'm not gonna complain yet but it is absolutely gorgeous oh i just had one of those like really awkward moments the other day when i came down there was um big long planks of wood at the top and i left them there and i've come here today to see that they've gone and i thought oh my god they actually belong to somebody i was under the impression that if people left things at the top it was like a free for all but no no they were someone's they belonged to someone and i've just come along and nicked them but I found out who they belong to. It's okay. I just, I embarrass myself on a daily basis. And I just wanted to update you on like, you know, one of many things that I do to humiliate myself. It's been a couple of days of quite intense um, heat as well. And I'm going to make an executive decision. This one's going. So I think, yeah, that's gone. Luckily though, I've come prepared and I've brought some um, more that I've sewn recently. So I'll show you those now. So here I've got some sunflowers that are dying for extra space. Um, and then I've got like a variety of things, some of which I'll plant out today and some I'll just take back home with me. I've got small pumpkins, which I'm gonna like bravely put out considering I came out one day in the garden and they just gone. So fingers crossed that's not gonna happen again. Um, and I've got some courgettes. I might plant some out. These I'm really excited about, the pak choy. I'm gonna plant them in a row. Same with these beetroot. Um, I've got some backup sunflowers, which I'll take home with me because um, these might die, so. And then I've got some spinach. I've also got some parsnip. I don't know how well they do in these module trays, but when I planted them in the garden, they just did never come up. So I'm trying again with them. And I've got some foxgloves that are not ready to plant out either. I think the foxgloves would have been better for me to just plant direct, but I hadn't had, I didn't have anywhere to put them, so. I thought I just may as well start them in there. Update on the potatoes as well. They're like poking through a little bit. I'll wait a little lot longer before I cover them up. Same on this one as well. It's nice to actually be able to update you guys on, you know, things that are actually growing at the plot. And fingers crossed it will be long now and I'll be able to show you more. But it's been really, really hot lately. So I'm going to give everything I've got at the moment a water and then I'm going to crack on with transplanting them in the bed. As you can see, I'm gonna to need to figure out a better water solution pretty fast. I think I'm gonna put the sunflowers at the top of the bed. Like there. Two rows, three and a two. I didn't think to bring a shovel with me or like a little, you know, little shovel. Why would I need that? I'll tell you, when I got a shed, it's gonna be a whole other ball game. I've seen people just plant them with the, the roll still on, but I like the idea that the roots can just spread out a lot faster if I just take them off. So. I think I need to get some sticks. I got some bamboo in the house. I might bring that next time I come here. So that's how the five are looking. I'll bring out some bamboo to make sure they don't like fall over. Um, fingers crossed they won't do that in the time between I get you next. Now it's just about working out what I want to plant here. I think I'm going to put maybe a baby pumpkin this end. That still might die so this area could be rearranged. Okay so I've decided. Pak choy, beetroot, aubergine plant, baby pumpkin if that's wrong sorry but by the time this video goes up i would have already done it so i got quite a lot i'll go this side first i feel like i need to water it a little bit more still a bit dry i 
we're forecast rain tomorrow, which would be amazing. I don't mind planting these close together because I don't think they're all gonna survive, so I can come out and just thin them another time. There's the first row, now on to the beetroot. Things are actually happening now, guys. I've just decided to put a button squash plant opposite the courgette plant. small so if they don't survive it's okay because I've got backups but you know I'm rooting for you guys you can do it don't embarrass me now all I've got to do is turn over the soil one last time before I can put the cardboard the raised bed and all the chippings down around it but I'm not gonna make you watch that because you've seen endless clips of me digging I'm gonna leave it there if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye